TV, couple TV talk. It means up to us, then you know you in trouble. Couples TV, couples TV, couple. If you come and watch a video, you better make it up. Couples TV, yeah, you know it is. Go on, drop a like, yeah, you know the rest. Couples TV, couples TV, couple. Couple TV, couple TV, couple. What's up, fam, fam? So it's your girl, Kia from Day Kia, and I just thought that while I was sitting in the car, I could give y'all a really quick story time about my experience from going from one kid to two kids. Um, for those that don't know, I have a one-year-old named Marcellus. Um, now I have a two-week-old named I Air. So let's just hop straight into it. Just tell you my experience. Just tell you my experience, what I've gone through, what my experience during birthing and things like that, okay? Okay, right, so Zaire is in the back seat, so that's why I keep looking back. So just to hop straight into it, um, I gave birth on August 27th at 3.34 a.m. Um, so just a little bit about like contractions and things like that. With my first, um, with Marcellus, I got induced. So I got my epidural before I felt any contractions or anything like that. Um, so this experience, it was all natural. So it kind of, my birth, birthing experiences was night and day kind of. And so, with Zaire, contractions are a beast. But I have somewhat of a high pain tolerance um, due to having endometriosis. And so, um, the pain, the contractions started in my back. And so, I'm like, okay, I'm hurting, I'm hurting, but I'm alright. I'm hurting, but I'm okay. And so, 12, roughly like 11.30ish, 11.45ish, I call my mom, I'm like, hey, I'm hurting. I don't know what's going on. My back. So, yes. So, I called my mom and was like, hey, mom, I'm hurting really bad, but I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm finna take a shower and lay down. Pretty much telling her, like, hey, just check on me later. And so, she was like, are you timing them? How close are they? And are they going away and coming back? And I was like, yeah, they're going away and coming back, but it's nothing because i had had some pains in the past and i was like well yeah you're in you're having contractions but they're not doing anything so in my mind i thought it was still braxton hicks and they weren't doing anything and so i was finna take a shower and go to bed this thing my heating pad it's been my best friend that's what i was finna do and so um she was like no you need the time we'll make sure that they're not under five minutes and consistent so i started well she started timing them i didn't start timing them she started timing she's like yeah um they are five minutes apart and they're coming every five minutes and so my husband got off which Davon, my husband got off at 12 midnight or whatever and so he made home around 12 30 ish and when he walked in door i'm like okay we need to pack a bag just in case still like in denial that i'm in labor like i'm just like okay just in case we wake up and my water breaks like because I always thought you were actually in labor once your water broke. I know, silly me, I've had two kids. But that's what I always thought. But so he was like, well, no, nah, they're coming every five minutes. And the doctor said, come back, come to the hospital if they come every five minutes. So he packed the bag, we left, we went to the hospital. Because the pains, so by the, time I got, by the time I got in the car, the pains were horrible. Like, literally, I'm grabbing onto the side of the, the door, like the little handle thing. I'm like, oh, my God, this hurts. This is the worst pain ever. So, I get to the hospital, and, like, I, now I'm sick. Like, I feel like I got to throw up. My back hurts. And if any women out there, I, you know the feeling. I feel like I had the poop. And so, I was like, okay. So, I got in there. I'm like, hey, y'all, this is getting worse. I feel like I got to throw up, this, that, and other. So the lady, um, once they got me up to labor and delivery, the lady didn't even let me go into the little room and check in first. She took me on back to my room and let me change. And so she was like, okay, let me check you. And so she checked me and, she, and I was at a eight. And so she was like, okay, well, we, you're not going to stay here long. I'm going to take you over to the actual labor and delivery floor instead of triage because you're in full-blown labor. And so by this time, I'm freaking out. Like, 
I need epidurals. Where is the pain medicine? Because I'm not going to push this boy out by myself. I need some help. And in my mind, help was the epidural. And so, got over to the other room. My nurse is like, yeah, we got to do blood work. They stick me like five times. Because my veins are small and they roll. And so, they stick me like five times. And I'm like, okay. Finally got the blood or whatever. And so, I'm like, okay, cool. Yes, I'm going to get some pain medicine. And so, my nurse kept saying, yeah, the pain medicine is on the way. The pain medicine is on the way. By this time, I'm throwing up. I'm hurting. I'm still not crying because it's not like a 10 for me yet but i'm like okay god like listen some gotta give because if this get any worse i'm gonna be done and so doctor comes in and is like okay let me check you so he checks me and i'm at a 10 and literally i drop because i'm like okay i know i'm not getting every door now like i know it's this is it so um doctor's like okay give me a push so I push y'all and that was the worst the first push for me was the worst pain I ever felt in life. Um, hold on y'all. I'm looking down because Zaire is right here and he's gonna start crying. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, here. Okay, so yes. I, um, the first push for me was the worst pain ever, and I started swinging my legs, like, no, I can't do this, y'all, I need help, and so the nurse, I loved her, so the nurse grabs me and is like, hey, you can do this, I'm here, my husband grabs my other hand, like, okay, we here together, like, calm down, so, like, I'm pushing maybe four pushes, he's out, we're done, so I'm like, okay, cool, great, So that was my experience for the natural birthing. It wasn't a great experience, but it was my experience. And so, first couple of days at the hospital, all fine and dandy. Um, as y'all can see, Davon just got back in the car. Hi. First um, couple of days in the hospital was all fine and dandy. Breastfeeding was the worst pain in life. Um, literally felt like my insides was falling out. And they kept saying, like, go ahead and finish. Like, go ahead and keep trying. <laughs> really, babe? They kept saying, go ahead and keep trying. This, that, another. It was the worst experience in my life. But it stopped hurting so bad once I kept going. So I'm really glad I did because he can't really tolerate Similac um, advanced or Similac sensitive is what we found out just now. But... So it really works out that I can breastfeed and things like that, but it hurts. Don't let nobody lie to you. It hurts. Not the latching part, because the latching part didn't hurt much for me, but it makes you cramp up. Like, it makes you have contractions. And they say it's because your uterus is contracting and getting smaller faster. That's the benefit of breastfeeding, but it hurts. It's the worst pain in life. Like, I almost prefer being in labor again over the contractions from breastfeeding um but getting home was an adjustment um Maricela still really doesn't get along with brother he he likes him for the moment he don't want him on his mommy he doesn't want him on his daddy it it's a fight we have to continue to remind him about gentle touching and things like that uh, we'll find him trying to do like little mean things, but it, I realize it's not out of spite or anything like that for him. It's just he wants his attention too. So smoothed out some since we put Zaire down for a nap and then we play with Zaire. We uh, we put Mar Zaire down for a nap. I'm sorry, and we play with Marcel and we give him his time, and he understands that if he wants to go in there with Dad and play the game and things like that, he can. He's starting to understand, okay, it's okay for him to be there. It's okay for Bro Bro to be here. Um, and he calls him baby, so he don't call him Zaire or anything. He calls him his baby. Um, but, yeah, so that was kind of my experience. I will keep a vlog of, like, just everything that I've picked up, like little tasks I picked up or little tricks I picked up. If you want to 
want me to make a full video about the little tricks I've picked up to have two kids in diapers and two little little bitty babies, just let me know. Comment down below and let me know and I'll do it for you guys. Alrighty. Peace. Couple TV, couple TV, couple. It means up to us, do you know you in trouble? Couples TV, couples TV, couple. If you come and watch a video, you better make it up. Couples TV, yeah, you know we the best. Go on, drop a like, yeah, you know the rest. Couples TV, couples TV, couple. Couple TV, couple TV, couple.